Yo, Yankees fans, what is up? It is Felix from NYNews.com. We have some horrible weather going on in the tri-state area, pretty much the northeast. So, Yankees fans, let's talk about Jacoby Ellsbury right quick. As you know on my channel, if you've been following my channel, I've made videos where I suspected that Jacoby Ellsbury was faking injuries. Obviously, going on the advice from Scott Boris, it's become evident that he is. It's become clear that if he does get released, Scott Boris is in line for a big payday. I guess in that contract, it says if Jacoby Ellsbury is released, the Yankees have to pay this much and that much. So that's what's going on. Jacoby Ellsbury, in my opinion, is not ever going to be a Yankee ever again. He doesn't want to play for the Yankees. He doesn't want to live in NYC. If I were the Yankees, I'll put him out of his misery and release him. And who knows what was going on behind the scenes. Maybe the Yankees promised Jacoby Ellsbury to move him somewhere. Maybe the Diamondbacks. Maybe that deal fell through. Maybe the Yankees behind the scenes said, hey, Jacoby Ellsbury, we're going to move you to this team, this and that. And it didn't happen. So what he's doing is now he's, come on, if you can't see this, he's faking injuries. And he's just begging and asking for his release. So every time Jacoby Ellsbury is set to return, something else happens. This time it's his back. Then it was his foot. Then it was something else, his hip. So every time he's set to come back from a so-called injury, something else happens. It's quite clear what's happening here. You can't see. So Jacoby Ellsbury put him out of his misery, released the man. The Yankees are still a cash cow and moneymaker. If anything, it benefits the Yankees to fill in or have other players play in his place. Like, so let's say, Clint Frazier. At the end of the day, you're making a profit. From not having Jacoby Ellsbury play on your team, obviously, by having a young stud like Clint Frazier or whatever, you save money having him play. I know next year the Yankees are probably not going to re-sign Gardner. They're probably going to make a push for Harper. I mean, really, does it hurt releasing Jacoby Ellsbury and paying most of his contract? And when I say making a profit, I mean by not having him on your team where obviously the fans don't like Jacoby Ellsbury anymore and he's not going to, let's say, drive in enthusiasm and let's say Yankees fans buying or being interested in their product. So having a person like Clint Frazier see more playing time is more beneficial to the Yankees. That's what I mean. Yankees fans, let me know your opinions in the comment section below. Do you believe Jacoby Ellsbury is faking injuries? Do you believe it's Scott Boris that is telling him to do so? Do you think it's just a coincidence every time he's coming out of another injury, another injury happens? I mean, <laughs> really, it's like uh, playing the lottery or winning the lottery. The chances of that happening, it's a wide margin. I mean, Jacoby Ellsbury is the first player I've seen to have so many injuries coming off of another injury then coming off of selling his apartment in New York City. So something smells fishy there. So Yankees fans, let me know your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from MLYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.